It's the sheriff. I don't know what county though. Criminal interdiction unit. State of Texas Sheriff's Office. you what department are you with uh, I work for Collin County Sheriff's Office Collin County yes sir uh, you got ID on you I sure do can I see it please you want to see my yeah please I need to see your ID yeah okay. yeah sure, no problem. you licensed to carry that firearm sure okay you do me a favor and uh, sorry hold on that's kind of loud. That's adrenaline. Can you do me a favor while I'm dealing with you? Can we go ahead and put your firearm up for my safety? Absolutely. It is customary for police, as soon as they arrive at any scene, to make sure that no one else is armed with any sort of weapon and to disarm anyone who is before knowing anything else about who the people are or what is going on. And even regardless of whether the people are legally armed. Hey, hold on a minute. Wonderful. Don't be touching it. What's that? Don't be touching it. Okay. What are we doing? We're hiking. We're hiking. Yep. Some reason why you have this? Because I can. Well, okay. Oh, hey, no, don't disturb me, man. Hey! Right. Get hey. your hand off! Why are you taking my fucking hands, man? I'm not touching the gun. All right, I'm putting this on tape. I'm being recorded too. Good. I have okay. it. You're trying to disarm me illegally. I am going to disarm you. I am going to disarm you. We're licensed. We're allowed to. We're exempt from the law. We're exempt from the law. You ain't exempt from the law. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Stop with the rules. Well, okay. you're an oath keeper. This is what we're going to do is I'm going to ask you to put your hands out like this, straight to your sides. I'm not doing it. the firearm from you. Let me ask you, am I being detained? Yeah. Okay, well, I'm... Spread your arm out, please, like this. Both of them straight out. Excellent. Go ahead and turn away from me for a second. Excellent. But you know, I don't consent to any search and seizures. I understand that. I'm not seizing anything. The obvious purpose of this practice is to immediately create a huge imbalance of power where only the law enforcers have the ability to forcibly impose their will on others. Imagine the arrogance required for an average citizen to arrive on some scene, unfamiliar with the situation and the people involved, and have his very first thought be, nobody is allowed to have a weapon except me. Can you do me a favor while I'm dealing with you? Can we go ahead and put your firearm up for my safety? Absolutely. No, I just need for my safety. I'm sorry, can I see that ID though? I did. I needed to get closer to it, but I just showed it to you. Well, I couldn't actually see it. I was trying to make sure that I was safe before we saw your ID. You're safe. Okay. So you're licensed to carry that firearm? I am, yes. Okay. For my safety, you don't want to go ahead and put it up? You no, don't no, want no. to have that respect for me and my safety? No, sir. Okay. Why is that? Because this is my duty, bro. Okay. I don't uh, also this thing. I don't take this out unless I go into a jail. Okay. Uh, so I didn't actually see your ID. What's your name then? My name is Lieutenant Yon with the Collin County Sheriff's Office. Lieutenant Yon. All right. What are you uh, What are you out here doing today? In the right now. Okay. Where are you headed to? I'm going to work. All right. So you're not on the clock right now. I am on the clock. All right. Um, what brought you to work to Rockwall today? Uh, I work all over the state of Texas. So, so you're Collin County, but you kind of just float around everywhere. Yes, sir. So do you you patrol Rockwall County then? I do. Yes, sir. Okay. Do you do stops out here in Rockwall I do, County? Yes, sir. All right. Um, Next question is, uh, do you actually, do you have anything illegal on you that I should know about? No, sir, I don't. Okay, you don't have any drugs or illegal firearms or anything in the vehicle? All right, would you mind if I take a look? Uh, yes, I would. If I, if I can, I can just have you sit on the curb right over there. You don't get to search me, bud. If, for example, someone was confronted by a stranger without a badge who started interrogating the person 
in an obviously accusatory way and asked to be allowed to search that person's pockets, his car, and his home, not only would the person being accosted almost certainly refuse, but he would probably be outraged at the request. If I, if I can, I can just have you sit on the curb right over there. You don't get to search me, bud. Of course you can't rummage through my stuff. Who do you think you are? Why is that? Because you have no reason to search me. But when strangers with badges make such requests, they are the ones offended when the targets of their intrusive, unjustified harassments, accusations and searches object and refuse to cooperate. Even when the officers know full well that the Fourth and Fifth Amendments to the U.S. Constitution specifically dictate that a person has no legal duty to answer questions or consent to searches, such lack of cooperation, i.e. failure to unquestioningly bow to the officer's every whim and request, is still seen by the police as a sign that the person must be some sort of criminal and enemy of the state. Only a despicable lowlife would ever treat a representative of authority in the same manner that he treats everyone else. Why is that? Because you have no reason to search me. Well, there was a guy actually who fit your description, dressed in a clown costume, that okay. was planting drugs on people out here in Rockwall. Watch out, you're fixing to get him. Um, there was actually someone in the same clown costume planting drugs on people on Rockwall, and okay. so, you know, when I see someone like yourself dressed in the same costume, you know, I figure, I don't know if it's some type of uh, organized gang that's going around doing it, but when you're wearing the same costume, you know, it's, it's pretty suspicious. Right. And, it, you know, if, if, if there's nothing to hide, I don't see why would, there would be a problem with me just checking it out. And that way, you know, me, the public, everyone has peace of mind that uh, you aren't going around planting drugs. I don't have anything that I have well, planting drugs. Well, then can I check? No, sir. Okay. You you are more than welcome to look in my car. You're okay. not you're not going to search it. Could, you can stand right there and look at. Can I put the camera in there then? You can take a look. Yes, sir. Okay. I don't want you to break the threshold of my door. Okay. What do you mean break? Oh, is that is that breaking the threshold, threshold here? Right so here, I just yeah. broke the. Yeah. That's called a search at that. Point. Okay. So I can't check out that bag right There's there. There's a computer in that bag. Can we see? You want to see inside my yeah. bag? Sure. Yeah. Sure. Okay. All right. Anything else in there? Of uh, a uh, folder. Okay. Nope, Nothing else in the in the smaller pockets. I have some uh, some deals to hook it up to uh, computer cables and stuff okay. like that. All right. Would you like to see the back of my car? Yeah. Yeah. And see what all we carry? Yeah. I'll be more than happy to show you. All right. What we do. So these are all my tools of the trade. I have a ladder here mm -hmm. uh, for searching vehicles. Um, I have a ladder for searching vehicles? Yes, sir. If we have to uh, make access into a tractor trailer or something high mm -hmm. that we can't get to just by jumping up or something like that, mm -hmm. it's a collapsible ladder. I have seals to search, uh, seals to seal up tractor trailers, <laughs> tools, uh, glass from my windshield, evidence bags, Business cards, you want one of those? Oh, uh, sure, yeah, I'll take one of those since I didn't actually get to see your ID. Yeah. I, showed, I showed you. I know, but I was more worried about the, the firearm and who you are, you know what I mean? I gotta, I gotta try to secure the, the uh, scene, you know what I mean? sure do. In their authoritarian enforcement training, they are specifically taught to treat people as inferiors, to always try to gain control of everyone and everything the moment they arrive on scene. So I have a plate carrier here in case we uh, need a rifle, uh -huh. if it's a dangerous situation, a ballistic helmet, um, extra ammo, rubber gloves, the camera here, change of clothes. Another um, another backpack, so there's no, no drugs in there either. Change of clothes. All right. Toiletry items here. Here you get my deodorant, face wash, Q-tips. Okay. I have a jack. All right. There's a tool kit back there. <clears throat> what else you want to see? Uh, this is where we store our rifles. Okay. This is where you uh, store your rifles? Yeah. Our, oh, okay, it's long. That rifle right, right there, if I had to get out and go someplace, and we'll secure our rifle in there. Uh, 
OC spray, which I don't carry. Okay. Another vest for for when we have civilian riders come with come ride with us. I'd like to put them in a vest so they're. Secure. Can I wear that one while I'm dealing with you then? No, sir. In case. Okay. No, Just sir. for my safety. Oh. I, all I think about is my safety. You know what well, I mean? I'm thinking about my safety. I don't know who you are, buddy. Yeah. So. Yeah. Uh, I'm not really that worried about it. Um, name. Country man. What's badge, your name? It's safety. What's your name? Country man. What's your badge number? One four zero. Now get the hell away from me. I mean, you say get the hell away from me. Safety. 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 For your safety, go yeah. f yourself. Just all I think about all day, every day, is my safety and nobody else's. You know what I mean? Cleaning supplies and my jack stuff right there. Cool. Rain pants. Okay. What else you want to see? Uh, can we check the glove box real quick? Sure can. Binoculars. See some pills in there. Yeah, they're dietary supplements. Okay. Um, air fresheners, magazines, business cards, a watch, an earpiece. I see the, the pills. So those are dietary supplements? They are, yes, sir. What does it say on True there? True control. True control? Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, a pair of leg restraints, binoculars. Okay. What else? I, I, I think it looks good, man. Did that answer all your questions? Yeah, yeah. Do you want to come do a ride along? Uh, no. Come on. Uh, with you? Yeah. I mean, you know, if you want to take me, then I'll come, if but I'm not. If you're really interested in law enforcement, you want to know see what we do every day. The United States of America incarcerates more people than any other country in the world. In fact, the U.S. hosts more prison inmates than all other developed nations combined. You want to know, see what we do every day. In 2010, the U.S. was home to about 309 million people, 4.5% of the world's total population, but housed 23% of the world's prisoners. You want to know, see what we do every day. We imprison more people than enormous autocratic countries like China. We imprison more people than Russia. You want to know, see what we do every day. Compared to the size of our population, our rate of imprisonment dwarfs our closest allies, like the United Kingdom, France, and Canada. Perhaps the nickname Land of the Free, Home of the Brave, should be updated. Though I suppose you need to be brave to endure the highest likelihood of incarceration the world has ever known. A free nation shouldn't imprison so many people, and a fiscally responsible nation can't afford to. <clears throat> then please, ride along. I mean, if you want to take me, I'd be happy to come, but I'm not going to sign any papers to come with. You don't have to sign any papers. And I will be carrying. Okay. Okay. We, we, we can do that then. Um, who do, is your cell phone number on here? Nope. I'll write it down on there for you, though. Okay. If you'd like for me to. Okay. Or you can just call. I'll call yeah, I'll call there. I don't yeah, wanna... you can call at 972 uh, 547 Ask for me. Okay. And they'll patch you through to me or they'll put you through to my desk. And you'll let me come on a ride along without doing any background checks or, or any giving any ID so with, whatsoever. When you do a ride along with us, you do have to go through. You do have to do the standard, hey, let's make sure that you're not wanted or anything like that. Then you can come ride with us. Okay, I won't do that. You won't do that? <laughs> no. You got warrants? Nope. Okay. Sure don't. Yeah. Right. Yeah, it's, it's just a matter of you don't want to yeah hey that's fine yeah i mean i'd be happy to come with you as as two human beings right um but you know this whole searching somebody's vehicle thing i think it's out of line so why'd you ask to search mine because cops do it to people all the time i just wanted to flip it and you no, know I, I think it's i think it's out of line personally well we, do. we we don't search people's cars without probable cause mm -hmm. or without consent mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I see it all the time. You know, I've had uh, I've had employees of mine in the area searched by Rockwall County Sheriff, where you know a lot of times the consent is achieved is attained by intimidation tactics. Um, now, am I saying that you personally have done that? No, I'm not. But well, I'm I'm very I'm very certain to ask people <clears throat> when I ask for consent. Do you understand that it's a voluntary consent? Mm -hmm. Right. Right. You understand you had the right to tell me no. You understand you had the right to refuse. Mm -hmm. And you also understand you have the right to withdraw your consent at any time. Okay. I'm sure to let people know all four of those things, which I don't have to by law. Okay. So. Yeah. That, that's why I try to teach people what their rights are, because right. most cops won't tell you. That's why They'll I want, just try to abuse and. That's why I encourage people to come out and ride with you. Okay. Well, I'd be happy to go ride with you, like I said. But man, you're going to have to do that basic. Yeah, I won't do that. Maybe, uh, maybe I'll get somebody, maybe one of my viewers will, will be willing to do it and they can go along and record if they're willing to submit to uh, What do you have, like a, a YouTube search. channel or something? Yeah. Okay, cool. What's your name? Uh, I don't want to give it right now. What's an under? So I can it's, see myself on YouTube. Well, you're live right now. Actually. Oh, on YouTube I am? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, there's 600 people watching YouTube right or now. Facebook? YouTube. What are they saying about me? 
I don't know. The chat is uh, my my chat isn't working Come on, right. I'm not gonna be mad. It's not uh no. It's I just not reloading. Place. It's just not reloading. So I keep having to hit live chat. Here we go. Now it's reloading. James, this is awesome. Uh, for the most part, this cop avoids most drug questions. If you had a drug dog, this cop would have dog tested POS for drugs. This dude is awesome. Wow, James, you just found a real officer who is patient, polite, and friendly. I give this man a thumbs up. Uh, News Now Fort Worth says he knows he's on camera. Damn, he is one ride of the good with ones. him. See, ride with him. Dark <laughs> says, "Come ride with me." <laughs> then dog. Uh, yeah. I don't have a canine, so I can't get a false head. So look, at, I, look at that one. He's a good cop. Well, well thank you. I, I appreciate it. My my viewers are pretty harsh too. The last what? time I found a good cop, they were still sitting there talking mad trash about him. Where was the good cop? Oh man, where was it? It was out past Fort Worth. I can't remember the name of where it was at though. Right? The video's got like 80,000 views. Really? It was just a really young guy, and usually they're arrogant and yeah. cocky, and he was just... Well, I've been doing this... He offered, he offered to put his gun up. Really? Yeah. Well, I'm not going to do that, because he, he, I don't know if... It, your name James? Yeah. I take it. Yeah. James, I don't know if this is a setup, that there's somebody out there... No, I understand. To, to I wouldn't me. actually... That's why I'm not going to put... I wouldn't gun. actually really want anyone to disarm themselves. But, again, that's one of those things that I see. Cops walk up on the scene, the first thing they want to do is disarm everybody. I don't want you disarmed ever at all. Or me, or anyone, I for that matter. That. A gun-free zone is a government-sanctioned kill zone. And I, I honestly, I want everybody that has the legal authority to carry. No such thing as legal. I want everybody, <laughs> I want everybody. Who, Shall not be infringed. Okay, let me, let me rephrase that, James. Everyone I, who's not in a prison cell. For no. For nonviolent, victimless crimes. I want everybody who can responsibly carry to be able to carry okay. their, to uh -huh. be able to carry their firearm that have been through the appropriate training that know how to handle a firearm that know how to how to how, how to handle a firearm and not just go pointing at people for all willy-nilly reasons yeah does that make sense it does so i don't know if you're carrying i can't see i definitely would never pull it out okay well, <laughs> for uh yeah well good uh but I encourage you if unless if yeah. you can carry James, I encourage you to to carry because you could be the person that stops a crime one day. Right, but when we're not there to. Yeah. You know, when by can carry anyways. Yeah. Government infringes on that. Shall not be infringed. Well I just hope that um, here's what I hope then. Here's what I would love. You, you seem like a decent guy. I would love you to take it to the next level. The next time you find a guy who's carrying illegally, mm -hmm. Um, that you assess the situation and decide if you think he should have the right to defend himself. What do you consider illegal? Without a, uh, well, in, in Texas, for example, you're supposed to have a license right. to carry. You're yeah. supposed to buy permission from the government. Yes, sir. Um, there's a few states who have gone to constitutional carry. Texas is working on getting there. Open Carry Texas is really trying to push it. Right. I don't know if you heard, but, but the politicians are, are, the Republicans essentially have pretty much thrown that out at this point because they're afraid to lose to the Democrats in the next election. Um, so the, I guess the whole point is you don't need a license to carry. You okay. shouldn't. Shall not be infringed. The reason we call it constitutional carry when you don't have to have a license to carry is because anything else would be unconstitutional right. carry, right? Okay. So my only hope would be that, you know, if you find someone that has a firearm that they're carrying and they didn't buy permission to do so, that you would assess the situation as a human being rather than as a cop. Well, as law enforcement officers, we have to assess each and every single situation <clears throat> that we come across. Yeah. It's not it's 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 not just, hey, you don't have a weapon, you're going or you don't have a permit, you're going to jail. There could be some reason for it. They could be going to and from their place of hunting or something like that. So we mm -hmm. have to as law enforcement, we do have to assess every single situation. On a, on a case by case basis. The truth is, everyone should have the right to self defense, though, well, in I, any situation. I totally agree. And, and that, that is what some... levels the playing ground. That is what makes an 80 year old woman a, a threat, I mean, a, be able to defend herself against a grown right. man like you. Right. But, but, there's, but there's also people that lose that right to carry once they commit certain crimes in the United States. Over 70% of the people in our prisons on felonies are in there for victimless, nonviolent crimes because of the failing drug war. When it started in the 70s, 1.3% of the country was addicted to illicit drugs. 40 years later, 1.3% of the country is still addicted to illicit drugs. Now we have a bigger incarceration rate than any other totalitarian 
nation in the entire world. Right. So the whole idea that because you committed a quote crime, uh, I mean, we got a lot of, to me, that's how we systematically disarm good people. Um, I mean, you got a, an addiction. I got an addiction. It's Red Bull. Okay. It's legal though, right? And and to me, that's more harmful than a lot of the the illegal things that are out there. Bangs. Yours is what? Bangs. What's that? You know, the energy drink bang. Okay. Yeah. Right on. Yeah. And they're more harmful than a lot of the things that are illegal. Absolutely. So it's not a matter of, you know, government shouldn't be controlling that. And to take away somebody's right to defend themselves because they're addicted to a substance that we're not addicted to and government said that we can do our thing. That's a personal opinion. Well. I'm not going to give my personal opinion. But you've got to. You have to. I don't. I mean, no, you don't have to give it. But you you should be using your own discretion all the time. Um, But you also have to understand that how many of these illicit narcotics and these illicit drugs destroy homes. Oh yeah, and that and and the some people are addicted to opioids. Yeah. The opioid crisis right now. Yeah. And for people to say it's not a crisis, mm-hmm. the 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 heroin that is infiltrating our community uh-huh. and the methane coming from Afghanistan after we invaded Afghanistan and and started uh, producing opium again. You know what, James? I have never gotten anybody with heroin that originated from Afghanistan. Okay. Did it originate from a pharmacy? did not originate from the pharmacy. Okay, because I mean that's one of the, actually the biggest problem is is uh, uh, prescription drugs, prescription right? Prescription narcotics. Now. And you're, so... You're absolutely right, but also know that with the price of prescription narcotics going up and the crackdown that's been on doctors is that people are having to go to yeah. other avenues oh, to yeah. get their opioid addiction fixed. Yeah. So we have to get a control on the opioid I know. addiction in the United States. Yeah, well I know people who have been legally addicted for decades right. and they're, they're restricting the amount that they can they can, and so now they're going out to the streets to get it. You know, the government controlling all this stuff isn't good for anybody. I would, it would be good if I would get off a of Red Bull and you would get off of whatever you're addicted to and it would be good if they would get off of heroin. <laughs> but if I threw you in a cage and said you're a bad man now because you put that in your body and it's harmful to your body, is that fair? You know, that's, that's your personal opinion. <laughs> okay, um, I know that everybody uses this analogy and you probably hear it way too much, but it's real. Um, just following orders is not an excuse, right? All the worst atrocities in the human history, all the mass murders in human, the worst mass murders in human history were done in the name of law. Not against the law, but in the name of law. Okay. There was nothing illegal about the Holocaust. I know, I know you've heard it a thousand times, right? But me and you both are perfectly capable of doing horrible things because we choose not to choose for ourselves what we believe is right and wrong and allow politicians to dictate to us what is right and wrong. So anyways. That's, That's your personal opinion, man. Yeah, well. <laughs> well, James, hey, man, do you got any other questions for me? No, man, I appreciate you talking with me and Is letting me that, check out the vehicle. Too? Um, I actually have people watching me live, and so they'll come and backup camera me all the time. Oh, okay. Because cool. a lot of times I'll get tackled, tased, beaten, you know, arrested. <laughs> so have you felt unsafe with me? No, I haven't. Have no. I answered all your questions? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Is there anything else I can help you with? No, I appreciate it. Will you come and ride with me? As long as I don't have to do a background check. Think about coming and riding. Let me ask you this: If I have a pending felony, can I ride with you? Man, I don't. I'll, I'll have to ask my sheriff. It's fake, anyways. Okay. So you. It's are. from police chief in Leon Valley. Where's Leon? He's Valley? going to prison. Where's Leon Valley? It's in uh, Bear County, uh, oh, San, San Antonio. Antonio. Yeah. So you go all around doing this? All over the country. Really? Yeah. No way. Yeah, this is my home though. Rock all this? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, I've never met you. Do you, do you uh, this is a lot of the Rockwall and Rowlett police are the ones who got me started doing this really? because of their abuses. Have we ever had a bad interaction? Me and you personally? No. Okay. Never met you. No. I, I just want to make sure. Well, no. James, We've only had a good one. Now. All right. Well, my name is Tully. Again. Tully? All right. Yep. That's my first name. All right. Uh, if you want, if you want to come up, call me. I'll be more than happy to take <clears> you or any, any of your other viewers out. Okay. If you're gonna put my card on there, I know they're gonna in, inundate myself, my voicemail. Well, it's, uh, I mean, they, they do it both ways. For you saw the comments on here. People don't hate you, they like you. Okay, um, and you know, they, uh, they, uh, they tend to call when they're really upset. They right. also will call and give compliments though, okay. so. Well, if they wanna call and give a compliment, Sheriff Jim Skinner, that's my Sheriff of Collin County. Okay. They can say that they watched your YouTube channel or Facebook Live, is it Facebook? What is YouTube. It? YouTube? Yep. All right, and this will be uploaded when? Oh, it's live right now, so it's already up. I will probably, since it's it's an over it's over a 40 minute video right now. We've been under 40 minutes. Well, I've been 
live for a while. Oh, okay. I had to stop over there with Rockwall uh, PD and uh, I, I try to treat people the way I want them to treat my wife. Yeah. You know, if if my wife and my kids were standing right here, how would I want somebody to treat you? Lock them up <laughs> if they got a plant, right? If they've got weed, lock them up. <laughs> James, man, hey. And take their guns. All it's right, man. Be careful out here filming folks, okay? Yeah. I, 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 I don't want you to get hurt. Uh, I don't. I don't want you to. You know, the world's a dangerous place. I know it is. And and that's why I wear this stuff. Yeah. The idea that that we can somehow legislate safety or whatever, you know, it's it's always going to be a dangerous place. All right, man. All right, brother. Take care, bud. Have a good one. All right. Take care, sir.